Welcome to Mini Orange. This video will show us how to use the OTP verification plugin on the WooCommerce login form. You can click on the OTP verification plugin from the left side of the menu. In the Forms tab, you can search and select the WooCommerce login form. You will be redirected to the Form Settings tab. Select the checkbox to enable the WooCommerce login form. Let's see how to enable phone verification for the WooCommerce login form for the OTP verification plugin. Enable phone verification for the WooCommerce login form. Enter the phone user meta key value in the provided field, which in this case is billing underscore phone, as I am using the WooCommerce registration form. If you don't know the meta key against which the phone number is stored for all your users, then put the default value as phone. Click on the Save Settings button. Navigate to the login form. Login using the user's credentials. A pop-up appears prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP received on the phone in the provided field. Then, click on the Validate OTP button. The user has now successfully been verified and logged in. Let's see how to allow the users to add phone numbers if it does not exist. Select the checkbox to allow the user to add a phone number if does not exist. Click on the Save Settings button. Navigate to the login form. Login using the user's credentials. A pop-up appears prompting you to register your phone number. Enter the phone number. Click on the Send OTP button. Enter the OTP in the Verify Code field. Click on the Validate OTP button. The user has successfully registered their phone number and logged in. Let's see how to allow users to log in with their phone number. Select the checkbox to allow the users to log in with their phone number. You can also change the username field text here. Click on the Save Settings button. Now, enter the phone number and password to log in. A pop-up appears prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP received on your phone in the provided field. Then, click on the Validate OTP button. The user has successfully logged in with the phone number. Do not allow users to use the same phone number for multiple accounts. Select the checkbox to the option Do not allow users to use the same phone number for multiple accounts. Make sure that the checkbox of the option Allow the users to add phone numbers if it does not exist is also selected. Click on the Save Settings button. Enter a user's credentials for which no phone number is registered and log in. A pop-up appears prompting you to register the phone number. Let's try to enter the already registered number associated with another account. Click on the Send OTP button. A pop-up will appear informing the user to use another number as their current phone number is already in use. Let's see how to enable email verification with the OTP verification plugin. Enable the email verification option for the WooCommerce login form. Click on the Save Settings button. Navigate to the login form. Login using the user's credentials. A pop-up appears prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP received via email in the provided field. Now, click on the Validate OTP button. The user has now successfully been verified and logged in. Now let's see advanced setting for phone and email verification. Advanced settings are available for both phone and email. I have selected email verification. The login with password and OTP setting is an advanced setting option enabled by default. So far, we have logged in using the same option. Let's see how to log in with only OTP for the WooCommerce login form. Enable the login with OTP only option. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WooCommerce login form and enter your username or email address. You can notice that you are not required to enter the password. Now, click on the login button. A pop-up will appear prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP received via email in the provided field. Click on the Validate OTP button. You have successfully logged in using only OTP option for the WooCommerce login form. Let's see how to allow users to log in with their username and password along with login with only OTP. Select the checkbox of the option Allow users to log in with username and password underneath login with only OTP. Click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WooCommerce login form. You can see that you have both the options for login. Login with OTP and login with password. You can log in with the any of the given option of your choice. Enter the username or email address. Click on the Login with Password button. Enter the password. Again, click on the Login with Password button. User has successfully been logged in. Let's see how to allow the administrator to bypass OTP verification during login. Firstly, go to the Forms Settings tab. 
select the checkbox to allow the administrator to bypass OTP verification during login option. Click on the Save Settings button. Navigate to the WooCommerce login form. Now enter the administrator's credentials and login. Administrator has successfully logged in without OTP verification for the admin's account. Let's see how to enable the delay OTP verification setting. Select the checkbox to delay OTP verification. Enter the time interval after which you wish to invoke the OTP verification for the users. Then click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WooCommerce login form and enter your login credentials. Then, click on the login button. A pop-up appears prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received over email in the verification code field. Then click on the Validate OTP button. You have successfully logged in using the WooCommerce login form. Now if you log in within the interval period you entered for delay OTP settings, you will not be asked for OTP verification. So, let's click on the login button. You have successfully logged in without OTP verification. Now if you log in after the interval period you entered, you will be asked for OTP verification. So, let's click on the login button. A pop-up appears prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP that you received over email in the verification code field. Then click on the Validate OTP button. You have successfully logged in using the WooCommerce login form. Select the redirection after login settings. The option to redirect to the default page is enabled by default. Let's see how to select the redirection page where user should be directed after login. Enable the Select Redirection Page option. Select a page from the drop-down to enable redirection to the specific page after login. Then, click on the Save Settings button. Now go to the WooCommerce login form and enter your login credentials. Then, click on the login button. A pop-up appears prompting you to verify your identity. Enter the OTP you received in your email in the verification code field. Then click on the Validate OTP button to validate your OTP. You have successfully logged in and directed to the page you selected in the settings. We hope the video was helpful for you, and thank you for watching.